Now some people would look at this and be like, Carpet Mike, you have lost your mind. You are the heck of all hecks. And all the statement may be correct. Think about the style that's going on here. We got an upstairs bungalow bedroom, right? Spin around with me here. Look at that. You put the bed right there under the window. Over here is like a showcase, really. You put all your sneakers along this wall, highlighted by the light gray carpet or even a 150 gallon tank with a couple of pythons and you know, showcase your reptiles maybe. I am changing the layout of Cleveland. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna start calling myself the Frank McKinney of the carpet game. And if y'all don't know who Frank McKinney is, Google his name and then just say, yeah, Carpet Mike is the Frank McKinney of the carpet game. Yep, I've officially lost it. That's okay though. We need to move on and make some deals here. So first things first, we're going to get into that good carpet content. But as always, I want to share a little bit of baby investments that anybody could be doing right now to go ahead and get some retirement coming their way. So first things first, we're tapping into the Robinhood app. I'm buying a little Invesco right there. I jump on the phone with my buddy Dan. I'm like, what's good, Dan? I just bought a little Invesco. What you buying today? He's like, oh, I bought JetBlue. Dan's got a hell of a lot more money than I do. So I'm going to take Dan's lead and buy a little bit of JetBlue stock there. Just throw a little 80 bucks at that. Boom, boom. Everything's good. And then being true to the carpet game, we're going to buy a little more Dixie Group penny stock carpet game. Easy to flip, get in, get out, get that bread. This thing goes anywhere from 50 cents all the way up to $1.40. Just bump bounces all over the place so let's say it goes down to 50 cents i'll buy that much more if it jumps up to 75 80 i'll dump it all and then buy back in again but let's see how all that came about there see i got friends that have houses all over the hood and the goal is just get new fresh and clean down so they can get it rented and the tenants have a safe clean environment to live in so these are the deals where we take all of our remnants and we wholesale a bundle to our clients there and i know so many people may say there's no way i would do that but here's the reality Lots of people want this service, so why not offer the service? And you slop and pop this on a Saturday, you go over top of the old padding, you make an extra 500 bucks in labor on it, and you got something to bring home to the fam. So keep that cash flow going, especially in times like these. We don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Either it's gonna be super stimulating, the economy's gonna keep skyrocketing, like all my friends keep saying that's gonna happen, or they're super paranoid me. It's like, bro, the world's about to end. I'm trying to grab as much money as I possibly can. Wherever you stand, keep your hustle strong. It's always the safe play. So you saw how I broke all that down there, but here is how to transition a vinyl reducer from absolutely nothing to a rubber fitness floor. How did we get here? Well, here's the deal. We did a massive, massive fitness room about two weeks ago, and the reducer that came with the product that they had us install it was just jank, man. I wasn't loving it. And there's a lot of older people that live in this community. So believe it or not, I do have a conscious and I do like, you know, just little tiny things that I want to make sure everything runs smooth. Plus, let's be real. It's a job that paid me $3,500 in labor to put all this together. And I certainly don't want any elderly tripping on a janky reducer. So we picked up this one a little bit beefier, a little bit nicer on the slope and way easier to install. So I'm just notching out around the doorway. This was funny because I had to special order order this through a local distributor that uh, they supply all the like random weird stuff that you can't get everywhere. You definitely can't get these at the big box stores, right? So it's been a while since I've been at their shop and we had the big, you know, COVID shutdown and everything. So I hit them up and I'm like, how is protocol at your place? They're like, here's how it gets down. You call us with your order, you show up and we throw it out the door at you. I'm like, cool. Only problem is I don't know what I'm ordering. So I'm going to show up there. You're going to throw the keychain ring with all the samples on it. I'm going to let you know which one it is. I'm going to throw it back in at you with a credit card. And then you're going to throw my credit card back out the door at me with the materials. And that's almost how it went down there. So yeah, crazy times. We will never, ever, ever, ever forget this era. I'm 40 years old. So obviously we remember the big real estate crash, 06 through 08 type chaos. We remember September 11th. That was absolutely chaotic. And now we have this. These are going to be big old chapters just stapled in our memory here. So for all you youngsters, this may be your first round of remembering chaos, but believe me, this will stick with you for a long time. Hopefully we're laughing about it in the very near future. But in the meantime, whoo, it is day by day. Anyway, we got this, uh, I don't even know what they call that stuff. That's like a D815 
uh, AC44, but it's their own brand of it. Same thing. It's a heavy-duty contact adhesive. We're just going to zigzag some fat beads all the way down the edge of that rubber flooring there. Zigzag, zigzag. Get enough of that down there. And then the beauty of this product is once you drop the reducer in it, you can lift it up just the slightest bit to get some air on it. And then you drop it back down and boom, you are good to go. Sometimes just going the little extra mile is worth it to keep your bank account growing in a healthy, stable manner. How much more glue am I going to throw on here? Oh my goodness. Hey, see what happens when I don't fast forward videos? You know, I try to do everything fast because I think fast, I act fast, I talk fast, and I do one at regular speed. And I'm just, whoo, trying to, trying to talk my way through this here. But we got the glue down. I'm going to go ahead and rub that reducer in, get it all nice and installed. And then after it's set, I will actually grab a couple little dumbbells. Oh, by the way, dumbbells, call them hand weights. It drives people crazy. So if you want to drive people nuts, Say, do you have any hand weights we could use for this? They'd be like, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's a hand weight, bro. And there's the final product there with some stuff I need to clean up, you know. But anyway, seriousness, it's Saturday. I hope you all are staying safe, healthy, entertained, and getting that money. Keep that hustle strong. I hope you guys are ready to dominate when this ban is lifted and everything goes back to quote unquote as usual. Hit me up 440-678-1151. You can text me on that number. Thank you so much for connecting. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next video.